there, there's a couple stories that I think are cool that I want to share. One of them, I don't know if you remember this, we were at lunch in Atlanta over off of Ponce, and you got a call about something, about a gig, that when I went home and told my daughters, and I'm sure when you told your daughters, it became all-encompassing of the conversation. I want to play a quick clip of a song first. This is the artist okay. that was reaching out to you, and then we'll say for what. You really blew this thing. A sugar land with Taylor Swift. And you had just gotten the call to go be the surprise guest at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium on Taylor's That's tour. Great. As a dad of a teenage daughter, your daughter's how old? Uh, well, she just turned 15. Okay. In the sweet spot. How did that go over when you dropped that little nugget that, oh, by the way, Taylor Swift just called me and wants me to come be the surprise guest at her show? On sta I'm, I don't mean like atten in attendance for people listening. She was doing every tour stop was a different artist that would come out and perform with her, and Christian Bush was it for Dallas. Yeah, I, I told him at dinner, because, you know, I make them eat dinner with me, no matter how, like, grumpy <laughs> teenager -y they are. And, uh, and, and at dinner, I always have – I make them do the same thing. I'm like, tell me the best thing I have to do today. I just make them tell me. And they, they'll make up, like, this dinner, or I had a good – you know, I laughed with my friends or they would, they would take it somewhat seriously. And then I kind of like pregnant pause it and wait for them to ask me. Um, and sometimes they, for, they just forget about me completely. But that day they're like, Oh, so dad, so I, I guess you want us to ask you what's the best thing I have you today. I was like, Oh, nothing. I'm just going to go play with Taylor. And we just kind of left it at that. And it, it didn't really land until we did it. And then the next day, you know, her, um, her world is a very, like, incredible um, functioning machine, right? And they, they immediately posted, like, our, our appearance on the Internet and, and the song itself. <laughs> and my, my daughter, she was like, all I got was a text. And it, I, I wish I'd have saved it. But it, it read something like, God, who would have thought that my 40-something-year-old dad would be cooler than me for any moment of my life? But did it you, just happened. Did That's you get the awesome. all caps OMG? Because when I went home yeah. and told my daughters, hey, I was just at lunch with my friend Christian, and they're like half paying it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, he's yeah. about to go play in Texas Stadium with Taylor Swift. And then there was a pause. And they looked at me like, can he come over? I was like, <laughs> all right. of a sudden, they're like, we love Christian. It's just funny that, I mean, what is it like getting in that machine of Taylor Swift's world? Like when you show up at that. Yeah, it, it's kind of interesting for me. I, it's similar to the same stuff with Andrew. Like uh, Taylor and I knew each other because she opened for Sugarland. That's true. Right? She opened for Sugarland, yeah. And we, we would take her out because nobody else would. And her parents became people who would ask me questions is backstage like how do I do this I'm like oh interestingly I've done this like twice now <laughs> and uh here's what you need to do and here's what you need to look out for and so we we have a relationship that actually just sort of exists back there in time so it was kind of funny to be in a room where everybody's you know kind of anxious of the superstar and she's really not changed that whole much you know like or at least the way she talks to me hasn't and she's like, oh, what do you think about this? I'm like, oh, what do you think about this? And suddenly we're back and it's 2000 and whatever, five. But what's cool yeah. about that and says a lot about her is that she hasn't changed because yeah, there are some has, people I mean, that do. Like Leslie. Yeah, I mean, the minute stuff started, you know, know. Leslie's I've like. I'm such a diva. It's unbelievable, <laughs> Christian. But anyway. You know, it's it so great. It's, it's one of those things you, you, you wonder how people navigate this when they when it happens to them and weirdly i've seen them on the way up and the way back down like twice now uh different kinds of different people that you know well you know and and, it, and the grace of how you you navigate it is um is your your true character you know and and she 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 has character you know she's like what do i do now i really like my boyfriend you know like i like i've dated this guy longer than anybody else and i was like you know what let me tell you something go do you like board games? You know, start with Scrabble. Start learning to drink wine. Like, figure out who these people are in your life. Like, spend extra time with them. 
And then suddenly that's now what we talk about. <laughs> we, I, we've been telling that's Leslie so cool. every week, get Taylor Swift on this show. And she's like, Barnes, I'm not going to, Barnes, I'm not going to, just come Christian, on. Christian might be able to do yeah, that. Yeah, get Taylor you. Swift to come give us some love. <laughs> Old <Yeah>. school. <laughs> Did you? Did she ever get you? Uh, did she ever like try to make you adopt a cat? No, I, I'm not a cat person. Oh, Okay, you know, she loves I her cats. Fall completely on the dog side. Maybe that's our angle, yeah, Cubby. Yeah, because me and Barnes are cat people. I mean, no offense to dogs. Yeah, I like dogs. I, I like dogs, but yeah. cats are easier to take care of. And I've just become a cat guy. And Barnes and I both, uh, you know, foster cats. And um, yeah, I mean, that's our angle, Barnes. <laughs> 